Hey everyone, this is Glenn with ERD. You know, the guy in the video. So today we're going to have a video made about a little more on how we test these modules after they are repaired and rebuilt so that if there are more issues out in the field when you receive your module, you will know what you need to do. After we rebuild the module, we put it on our custom designed truck simulator. On the right hand side is the simulator which basically fakes out the CPC-4 to think it's installed in a truck. This green circle right here is just monitoring the data streams that are being going back and forth from the module to the simulator to verify it's not dropping out at all. Here you can see this is a serial number for the engine uh, that this, this part right here denotes that this box is the CPC-4 it gives the date code written on the box and the software revision of the installed software. This particular module was loaded with one of our generics. So this is a parameter set out of a truck that we know very well has worked quite a number of trucks when we've uh, sent it out. But it will not necessarily work perfectly in the truck that this module is going to. So therefore this module needs to be reflashed. When we started working on this project, we assumed that reflashing was universally done with just one way. In our experience now with over a thousand modules, our number one problem hasn't been hardware problems, but people in the field bringing their module in and not getting it reflashed properly by someone who does not know how to use whatever flashing software they use. So what we're going to review with you right now is when this module leaves, it works. There are no active faults on diesel laptop. The parameters are all good even though this is for an older truck that we repaired in March which you can see on the ID here with diesel laptop. And the last thing we'll check is make sure the clock is running, which it is. So when you receive a module back from ERD, this will be denoted in the paperwork that it needs to be reflashed at either a mechanic or at a dealership. Now, if it's reflashed properly, this will work on the truck without a problem, unless there's other problems with that truck. If it's not flashed properly, you're going to get all kinds of faults. Now, we have had on multiple occasions now, people call us from a dealership stating they still have a problem. We instructed them to go back into the dealership and have it reflashed again. Upon the second time, for whatever reason, we do not know since we weren't there, they did something different and the truck was driving on the road that day. So please, if you have any problems, make sure you get a full reflash on your module from a qualified dealer or service professional that knows how to properly flash a CPC4 module. If you send it to us under warranty, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our generic for our new truck that we own that if you review our YouTube page you can see a video of us testing a module in it and we will run it around our neighborhood if it runs with our parameter set without any faults in our test rig then obviously you're going to have to have it reflashed and any problems you have are either with the reflashing itself or some other problems in the truck which from our experience with our own truck now, I would look at the condition of your wiring harness and the connectors that plug into the CPC4 module. So please stay tuned for more informative videos and keep on trucking.